I'm Madison Parker, former Navy SEAL, Wilrus instructor, field craft instructor, mostly just learn how to live off the land. The resources that you need to live off the land are all around you. This is the art of primitive living. Today we're gonna to be talking about spears. They either have a stone tip, they have a, a wooden tip, or they might have a steel tip. But steel was more prevalent 250 years ago, so they opted for steel and they were very good at uh, hammering it out and making, shaping it and uh, forging steel. Mostly we're gonna spend our day looking at steel pointed spears, how to shape the spear. The process takes uh, probably a couple hours. And this is a very primitive kind of technology. I get hand crank air. I'm using wood, I'm not using coal. I'm trying to do it pretty much the way they did it here 200 years ago. Most of what I use today is the spring from the truck springs. And I only use the springs from the big trucks like the tractor trailers for uh, the big dump trucks the big four-wheel drive trucks, the big 250s, 350s. I take this spring steel. I begin to draw the tip out. It's far from being shaped into a tip, but I wanted to get to it start. Then I'm gonna start bringing the neck together. First thing I'll do is start to hammer down, you know, in the center of that uh, square stock or a rectangular stock. And I'll start making the separation between the point and the, and the uh, socket. Then I'm gonna go to the fishtail. That takes a little, a little while. to get the fishtail to develop and then begin to roll that socket. Now my fishtail is almost fully developed. And the next thing I'll do is roll the fishtail into a socket. So what we do, that right there like that. very thin and it bends real easy. You can bend it past the point that you want it real quick. What I like to do is drop this line right here a little deeper than that line and we'll heat it up one more time and I'll be, we'll be done. One more heat, man. This is my last, pretty much my last heat for my socket. And once I get the socket the way I want it, then we're gonna go to the tip. See how I roll that socket? Look at the tip. The edges are touching. See them? That's just how you wanna roll the socket. Edges touching equally on both sides. The socket is finished. I'm happy and satisfied with the socket. I've got a nice neck on it. My next project will be now taking this, the point and drawing it out and making it a bona fide spear point. So that'll be my next step. Okay, I think we're done. It's pretty clean to me now. I'll, I'll grind it. I'll put a grind. I, I'll have to grind it. That'll clean it all up and get all the, you know, irregularities, the dents and stuff like that out of it. 
But other than that, yeah, we should, we're ready to go. This spear point right here can be sharpened and resharpened forever. It's, it's a lifetime piece of equipment. It's like a knife, it'll last you forever. So what we need to do now is, is go into the field and forge around. We need to find a shaft, a spear shaft that will, you know, marry up uh, cleanly with this. So we're going to cut down a shaft. We're going to bring it back, clean it up, shape it out, straighten it with fire. I'm looking for something that's at least eight feet long. We're looking for really any kind of hardwood that's growing relatively straight and clean that's not too big. Now, that's a good straight shaft. But what I'll do on this one, I'm probably going to cut this shaft off somewhere down in here. I mean, it's not up. From here down, it's going to be gone. I won't even use that. Probably use it from here up. But we'll take it back, and then we'll we'll uh, we'll get one of mine that I've already got cured out. That's uh, very in very similar shape as this. There's a lot of ways to keep wood straight when it's green. Okay, this is nice. If this is usable right here, if this would stay this way, I wouldn't have to do anything. What I'm fixing to do here. So what we'll do here is we'll use these holes. Put the first one actually, because the big thick piece right there is probably not gonna. That's probably not gonna uh, be in too much. So you don't have to put it right on the. You know, you want to get it good and snug. Pull that zip tie down tight. It's amazing how when green wood goes to dry, man, it'll do whatever it can to bend. See how that's going that way? Look at it. See how it's going that way? I actually pull it back like that, and I'll zip tie it. That's how you straighten, by counter bending. All you're doing is bending it against the way it's naturally going. After I do this and leave it here for six months, when I pull it off, I'm still going to have to build a fire and put it in the fire, not, not burn it fire, but heat it, saturate it with heat, and straighten it. I sit there with my hands, and I run the bent spot. I run it back and forth, back and forth, in the heat. I don't let it burn in any one spot. I keep the heat on it, keep burning. And then when I get heat saturated into it, all I do is stand up, and I flex it against See the bend there? I basically just bend it against the grain. Whatever way it was bending, I bend it against. Gotta be real careful though, you don't go past the point with it, because if you do, it's gonna break. From what it was, it looked like a banana. Now look at it. It's a usable spear now. There's a kink right here, but that's a knot. I can't get that out. Now, now it's straight straight enough for throwing anyway. And uh, see how much, see how much uh, spine it has, see how that does, see that? See how that is? That's what you want in the spear. It's right here, and you're talking about the wound channel, it's gonna be that wide. And then you're gonna have this whole shaft up in you. So this is gonna pass through your body because this is narrower than that, it's gonna follow because it's thinner than this is. That cuts the channel, this follow, because it's small. That's the key to spears. They have to be very thin, wimpy. That way, when you throw them, they're real light. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what the Maasai have learned. That's what they do. They're very light weight, and man, they're devastating them. Kill shot right there. In the shoulder. You hunt, this is your challenge. Go make a spear. Go get a spear. 
let me build you a spear. I'll give you a spear. Let's see if you can go use that spear to go take a deer or a hog or a turkey or, or an alligator or anything.